It's amazing how much noise there is if you listen for it. Cars on roads, barking dogs, or aircraft overhead. The world is a noisy place. Mines are often targeted because there is an assumption they are noisy. To understand the issue, we spoke to one of Australia's leading noise and vibration specialists, Shane Elkin, who for more than two decades has been at the forefront of measuring noise. He spoke to us about the high-tech noise sensors that surround New Ackland Mine. It's a directional noise monitor. Um, performs a number of functions, but its main function is to be able to determine uh, in a real-time sense the direction with which noise is coming from. So it's able to do that in five degree increments around the full 360 degrees of the compass. This sensor is less than a kilometre from the mine. It has the 25 of the microphones up there associated with that directionality, functionality. Um, there's a centre microphone there as well where the audio is also recorded as well as other uh, acoustical parameters. The most prominent noise this close to the mine is actually bird life. It's definitely capable and, and is specifically designed for capturing that lower frequency noise that's associated with mines at distance, um, but it's got the full frequency spectrum, so everything from down at 20 hertz or right up to 20,000 uh, hertz with the full range of human hearing, it, it detects it all. The noise sensors are manned 24-7 by a team of specialists at New Ackland who can hear every word of our conversation. So Shane, how sensitive is this piece of equipment that we're standing next to right now? Very sensitive. Right, this is our main noise control, which covers the actual noise monitors themselves. We've got three towers, one facing Ackland, one out to the north and one out to the east, which gives us a 360 degree view of the mine noise-wise. Uh, we can get a reading every minute, so if we do get a spike in noise or a machine's too loud, we can react straight away, park it up, and get the noise back to an acceptable level. New Ackland works with its neighbours and is available around the clock to rectify potential noise issues. The team also monitors weather conditions to understand how noise is likely to travel and plans activities accordingly. Excavators, dozers, loaders and other machinery on site are also modified to help reduce noise. New Ackland also uses stockpiles and buns as noise barriers. To understand the noise limits imposed at New Ackland, it operates below 50 decibels during the day or below the sound of a normal conversation. At night, the noise drops to below 40 decibels. It, look, in a rural sense, it's, it's quite quiet. Um, you'd assimilate it with inside of a lounge room, um, something like that. Uh, libraries would be a little bit quieter than the 40, but most bedrooms and offices would be sitting around 40 dBA in terms of an ambient noise level. In fact, the sensors prove New Ackland Mine is significantly quieter than a typical road. It's a subjective topic, noise, so um, different people have different perceptions, but you know what we're experiencing here and what the noise levels are set at are, are way below what people would experience that live beside roadways. Um, you know, the, the levels for that would be, you know, 20 decibels louder or four times as loud as what you would normally get set as a limit for a mine. To give you some idea of just how sensitive the system is, I'm going to drive past to better understand what noise is being picked up. Approaching the receptor now, and we're going close to 50 k's an hour. Back at the monitoring room, the team sees a spike in noise caused by the ute, well above any noise being generated by the mine. Just about anything. If someone's walking past the microphone yard, or even cattle walking around the microphone yards and the other two, you can hear the grass breaking under their feet and they can be 20 yards away. In practice, the sensors allow New Ackland to monitor and measure every piece of machinery on site. Because we've got 
full-time audio, as soon as it starts to get loud, you look in that area to see what machine is making the noise. After a while, you get to know what machine's making what noise. And conditions are only set to get better for our neighbours, with noise limits for Stage 3 of New Ackland Mine reduced even further, with operating levels at night set at 35 decibels, or just above a whisper.